Hey guys, welcome back to my channel AG Motion Designs and in today's video we are going to learn how to create this motion graphic background animation with the help of animation composer and few keyframes in After Effects. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here we are in Adobe Illustrator. I have downloaded this illustration from FreePick. I'll provide the, the link in the description. Now what I'll do is I'll select this objects there. Hit Control C on keyboard. Create Control N. I mean press Control N to create a new document. And for the width I'll choose 1920. And for the height I'll choose 1080 and hit ok and press ctrl shift v so it will paste it over here press e on keyboard for transform tool and click this by holding shift something over here press v and adjust this over here now right click on this first select this right click and release clipping mouse so we will get this now hit ctrl a to select all of them zoom out a little bit press e for transform tool and by holding shift again i'll scale it down and i'll put this in the center press ctrl 0 so now what i'll do is go over here click on this icon go over here and release two layer sequence so now all of them are on a separate layer by holding shift select all of them and drag it down and yep now as we can see all of them are on different layer i'll hide all of them as we can see here we again have one clipping mask so right click over here release the clipping mask so we are getting this kind of things again go over here select this icon go over here and release two layers select all of them and drag it down and i'll delete this layer so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff now press ctrl s so i'll save my file by hitting ok now go to the after effects close this window if you are getting this create click on this new composition i'll type main animation width 1920 height 1080 frame rate is 30 duration is 30 seconds and background color is solid white and hit ok choose grid and guide option and title safe action hit ctrl 0 so we can see our project window and press ctrl i on keyboard to import our illustration and press ctrl so here this is our illustration select this untitled one go to the import as in footage i'll choose composition written layers if you are getting this icon check like this then just please uncheck this one and hit a import it will take a little time because we have too many illustrations in this single document as you can see all of them are in separate layers hit ctrl a to select all of them and i'll move them over here now what i'll do is select all of them and check this icon right click new and create one null object press ctrl a again to select all of them and parent them with this null object press s on keyboard so as you can see we can scale it whenever we want but now what i'll do is i will need to adjust the anchor points of them so what i'll do is i'll go to the windows i'll choose my anchor point name mover in case if we have to adjust this anchor point i'll choose this one first let's see what this layer is so select this icon as we can see we don't have any illustration on this layer so we will delete this now choose this 
for this flow I need the anchor point at the center so I am not gonna change it select the second one same over here same over here also same over here same 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 as we can see on this one we don't have any illustration so i'll delete this i'll select this one i'll deselect all of them and now i'll focus on this one so i'll choose this option so it will adjust our null anchor point over here select this one and choose my anchor point over here or by pressing y on keyboard we will adjust our anchor point over here by pressing y adjust this anchor points I'll choose this this one and choose this it's okay if they are changing their positions it's not too much I'll just it over here see this one and now I'll hide all of them So follow this procedure for all of them. We don't want this case, so I'll delete this. Again, I'll delete this. Now, what I'll do is I'll select all of them and I'll hit Ctrl Shift C and I'll call it as BG. And after doing that, also make it parent with null object. So as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff now what i'll do is i'll select this flowers first so as you can see these are followers press ctrl shift c and call it as flowers check this option parent with this one also for here and check this option go to this flowers delete all of them now i'll go to the windows and animation composer transition and presets 2d layer transformations and i'll go to the scale from anchor point support initially choose this overshoot scale from anchor point select all of them double click on it As you can see you will get this pop-up animation now another thing i'll do is i'll select all of them go to this effect and presets search over here for wiggle position so as you can see we are getting this kind of stuff now after that what i'll do is i'll adjust this randomly Now press R on keyboard, create R, one keyframe over here and at 12 seconds let's type 2. So they will rotate. Go to the untitled one, we are getting this kind of stuff. Now after that what I'll do is I'll select this one, press R on keyboard, go to the start, hit W on keyboard 
I'll move it over here. Create one keyframe. Go few frame forwards. Move it over here. Again over here. Over here. Make sure that not all of them are same values. And after some time, we need to copy paste this keyframe. I'll move it over here and then I'll copy this keyframe. Press Ctrl C and Ctrl V. Select this key all these keyframes. Hit F9 to easy ease those keyframes. I'll click on the stopwatch to type expression and I'll type looping expression. And double OP loop out expression over here and hit OK. I'm uh, sorry, enter. So, as you can see, we will get this looping animation. Select this one, drag it by pressing Alt so it will move smoothly. Now, all we need to do is select this keyframe, hit Ctrl C, and uncheck this option, select all of them, and press Ctrl V and hit U. So as you can see, we are getting this kind of animation. Instead of full resolution, I'll choose quarter so it will render fastly. But this is not just enough for this. Select all of them. After this, press Alt and oh, close square bracket. Right click, create keyframe assistance and sequence layer and hit OK and just drag it move this over here and drag this up to this press alt open square bracket as you can see we are getting this random rotation of all these flowers and leaves now after that what i'll do is i'll select these things again i'll choose this animation but i'll make them random appearance of all of them you are free to adjust their positions for now i am adjusting just like this also the, oh, drag this expression a little bit backward for all of them so it will pop up a little bit slow and it will look smoother As you can see it will look smoother for this one what i'll do is i'll create one new adjustment layer i'll apply let's say turbulence this specific component i'll close this animation composite window we don't need it anymore i'll increase the size and also increase the amount and i'll create alt click on this evolution tab time into 100 so we will get some kind of animation like this go to the flowers whatever here and another thing you can do is create one keyframes over here go to the 1.5 seconds and again hit keyframe on this one now unlock this adjustment layer select this one drag it over here this one drag it over here this one drag it over here this one over here and this one over here select these keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor adjust this graph editor like this so we are getting this kind of stuff and also we'll adjust them randomly 
so you will get this kind of stuff so now after that what i'll do is first we need to animate this so select these flowers and all these petals and move them over here and after this i want these flowers to pop up so i'll drag them over here now another thing i'll do is hit u press ctrl y on key keyboard and for the color i'll choose something like this hit ok you are free to choose any color i am choosing this just for background i'll lock this and press s on keyboard for scaling and scale this null object something like this now if i hit play button we are getting this kind of stuff over here now after that in the middle of this animation you can type any text you want i will type motion graphics and choose some fonts which look suitable to this design for now let's motion design hit ctrl a increase the font types also increase the distance between them ctrl alt home and align this text to the center font and choose we'll uncheck this option the motion design and with the space bar so it will look like this press s for scaling option and scale it a little bit And in full resolution so at this one seconds what i'll do is i'll drag it over here go to the windows animation composer transition presets go to the text animate characters scaling and tracking overshoot and just drag it applying as in so you'll get this you can increase the distance So we are getting this kind of animations and if we go in our main animation we will get this animation so yep this is the final output of this tutorial So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe my channel and also hit the bell icon for more updates. Until then stay tuned.